I was here before. I was here, uh, I believe it was September. So we've only been in existence about two months now, September, October. Yeah, so we're pretty new. Um, what started this whole thing is uh, Ray White. I blame him personally. Um, he's been trying to motivate the community to become more cyber secure, and we've been doing that for a while. And so then we kicked off this nonprofit. And so this is a quick update on what we've done in the last, what, 60 days or so. Now you me up on your thing. Hang on. Yeah, uh, it's counterintuitive. Down yeah. for four. All right, I'll go up, 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 okay. All right, so the key issues that we are addressing with our company uh, is that cyber criminals have the advantage, um, and they have a market advantage, advantage in uh, the scale, the speed, the accuracy that they can do cyber attacks, the targeted nature of it, and we are losing. Uh, the community at large is losing. Um, efforts to address cybersecurity are largely scattered and independent mostly. People look at it as a singular problem and not something that a community can address. Um, we see that long term the problem is getting worse as the Internet of Things gets bigger and bigger, that big data analytics gets bigger and bigger. Criminals are taking advantage of it far faster than us poor mortals. Um, innovation in this domain is often ignored in favor of security. People look at the security aspect of cyber stuff, they don't really look at the innovative pieces, which I think is uh, a shortcoming. And it, in effect, we need coordination more than we need toys. All right, so that's kind of the model. So he said, up is down, down is up, is that what you said? Yeah. I got the wrong already. So what we're looking at, we look at the liability, asset, income, and expense uh, chart, if you will. Most people look at it as cyber insecurity. What we want to look at is the innovative piece, and that's what we're really trying to focus on. So promoting cybersecurity while building cyber opportunity for all of Virginia. Pretty, uh, pretty ambitious endeavor, um, but it's all through coordination, collaboration, and advocacy. Um, we s established this as a nonprofit. <coughs> Some of you might ask why a nonprofit, and here are the reasons. Um, we can span the government, federal, local, state, K through 12, everybody that we want to touch. We can leverage other nonprofits such as MITRE and uh, the Internet Security Alliance, some of the big players in cybersecurity, we can work with them. We can be transparent and accountable, um, innovation, all those things. Uh, the team is pretty impressive. Again, this is in the last 60 days we set this all up. Uh, Gary Lasota is the founder of uh, Valkyrie Enterprises, a local company, rather big. Mark Klett, uh, Admiral Gimmel, and uh, Major General Bob Newman is in uh, Richmond, and he's helping us out. All really powerful people in the cyberspace. Um, Williams and Mullins is supporting us with the secretary, and uh, basically we have over 100 years of combined experience with both leadership and a little bit of uh, cyber savvy. Uh, again, here are some of the sponsors, Valkyrie, Cled, QED Consulting, Virginia Beach, Splunk, if you've ever heard of Splunk, uh, Amazon Web Services is behind us. Um, we have a new website developing uh, for us right now, ID Web Studios, I give a shout out. Um, they're going to be helping us out building our web portal. Um, the FBI is uh, helping us as well. Um, Sarah Brin, I could go on and on. We've got a lot of people that are really kind of rallying around this whole idea. Whoops. Let's do this too quick. Um, from the delegates, uh, every delegate that we've approached so far has said yes, that they want to support it and they want to help us uh, work with them. Uh, one of the things that the group does is we're going to provide uh, legislative support. We actually write acts to help them um, get the appropriate regional cybersecurity. And the big leader for that for us actually is Glenn Davis. He's really helping us out. But also uh, uh, Ron Bill in a way, he's helping us out quite a bit as well. Uh, the academic team that's helping us is uh, Norfolk State University, Old Dominion, Tidewater, George Washington, Regent, and the Virginia Beach School Districts. So all these people are helping us with either the virtual software or educational support or advocacy or facilities. So we're getting a lot of good support from some of the campaigns that we're working on. The first one I'm going to tell you about is really, really ambitious. And that is, is that we're trying to take all the municipalities and what they call splunk them. Basically, bring them into the state-of-the-art cybersecurity framework. Um, it was done in Los Angeles uh, recently, and we think that Virginia Beach and the Hampton Roads region can do it quickly, like within 90 days, if we get them all on board. And we're working hard to make that happen. We're going to have a cyber summit in uh, March of 2016, and we're also sponsoring a huge cyber convention um, in October of 2016, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Uh, we have a K-12 program that we're trying to help the, uh, the uh, Virginia Beach schools get uh, tools that they can use to help prepare the young kids on cybersecurity. We're supporting the Gov2Com effort that Elizabeth Dietzman is uh, standing up. We stood up a cyber hotline. Um, 
to help uh, anybody that needs to. And luckily, it's only linked for those that are new It's only available to people in the 757 and 804 area code. So if you're calling from China, it's not going to work. Um, we're building a mashup, the portal. We're also helping design um, a cyber security operations center for the region. Keep on going. Um, I already talked about that. Whoop. Get up here. Get up here. All right. All right. Here's about the cyber convention that we'll be standing at. The objective is I don't know if anybody knows Kevin Mitnick. Original thought for you. He's one of the original hackers of the planet. I mean, just an incredible guy. Went to jail for six years um, and now has a security <laughs> company that's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Mark Goodman is the author of Future Crime. The CEO Splunk, these are the kind of people we want to bring to the event next October, and we think that's going to be a big draw for the region and um, getting support. I'm always giving people advice on good books to read. Here's two uh, Future Crimes by Mark Goodman, one of the guys on that list, and the other one is Tim Minnick's book, Ghosts and Wires. So, uh, goals and objectives, um, I've kind of gone through them. One of the ones I want to point out is we're trying to get a whole bunch of the Raspberry Pis, which is a small handheld computer for the local school district. We need about 25K to get 400 of them to help the, the kids in the region. All right, and this last one is for the, uh, the Million Cups group. Um, my advice to you is just take the plunge, you know, just do it. And this is a, one of the girls on my ship jumping in the Atlantic Ocean. Well done, All right.